Welcome to the second session for the series Test Automation Framework for Web Applications Built Using Cypress and JavaScript. In the last session, we saw what all features we are going to implement in the automation framework. Now, in this session, we'll start doing the actual implementation part. So, we'll start with the required software installation and we'll set up the Cypress then. So, let's get started. So, first of all, we would need Node.js and uh, npm this basically npm is nothing but node package manager so let me just check like whether i have the setup so node so for checking the node version there is a command called node space hyphen v so this command is actually going to show me the version of the node that has been installed in my machine okay so i have the node installed already then i can check for the npm as well also i have vs code as well so for example if you don't have these two basically node and the vs code so there is this dedicated series which you can check on this channel so if you are working on windows os you can refer these videos if you are working on mac os then you can refer this one so this basically has the two videos one for the node.js setup and another is for the another one is for the vs code setup okay let me just close it and uh, let's get started with the vs code i'm opening a new window let me create a new project basically um so new tweak and do just go here church desktop work vs code this is the youtube let me create a new folder here so test automation framework yeah okay so i'm naming it as test, test automation framework from youtube rajat and it is for web and using cypress and javascripts okay let me open this folder okay so we have created a directory basically here okay now let me open the terminal new terminal here and there is a command called npm init hyphen y so basically this command is going to help me uh, to create a package or JSON file with the default values so let me just put it npm init hyphen y okay now you see inside that directory basically i was here only inside my directory so now this package rotation has been created and this is the name so let me just update it so test automation framework youtube rajat web cypress yes let me update the description as well i already have noted it down let me just put it so this project is basically a test automation framework that has been built using cypress and javascript for automated testing of the web applications okay now we are done with the package or json file creation the next step would be to uh, setting up the cypress right so there is a command to install the cypress basically we are going to install it with the help of what with the help of npm that is node package manager so the command is npm install then what do we want to install cypress okay then hyphen hyphen save, save dev is basically we are going to install it as a dev dependency let me press the enter key so this package or json file is something like uh, uh, you have the pom.xml file right and when you're working with serenity web driver in java so you put all the dependencies there so in this case when we are working with cypress and javascript this package or json file is going to have all our dependencies so basically uh, we are going to use the xpath plugin support we are going to add one reporter as well that is cypress smoke awesome reporter right so everything will be mentioned here with the version number if you want to upgrade them or downgrade them we'll be able to do it okay and to install all the dependencies for example uh, if you're cloning this repository maybe from any github or bitbucket repositories okay so we can do that i mean you need to install the dependencies with the command called npm space install okay now let's see why is it taking so long actually to install the cypress so now we have successfully installed the cypress basically as a dev dependency you see in the package.json file i'm able to see the cypress with the version with the latest version basically and it is installed as a dev dependencies so all those dependencies you can see under the node will be present inside this node underscore modules you see under this directory we have something called cypress request and everything has been there all the required dependencies are here okay and this is package hyphen log to json now uh, basically when we are done with the installation part we're able to see this right so 
once the installation is completed you can open the cypress by running this particular command so let me just open it we're inside the directory so it is npx open sorry npx cypress open okay so this command is basically going to help us to open the cypress so you see it actually showed you that yeah, you are opening the cypress for the very first time and this is the version so this is verified so what has this verified this basically has verified that you have successfully installed cypress with the help of npm okay now what we are supposed to do from these two we are actually supposed to do the end-to-end -end testing so we need to click here these are the following files basically so these are the configuration files which cypress is asking you to add okay so like uh, cypress configuration file config.js okay this is the support end to end js this is the commands like there, this is the place where we are going to add all of our custom commands and this is the example.json basically the fixtures let me click on the continue and uh, this is how it actually asks like cypress is asking you to execute on which browser for example if you want to execute your test on chrome browser so you need to select chrome okay and you need to click on this button start end to end testing in chrome so let me just click on it got it now you see the chrome browser has been opened now okay with the help of cypress and uh, what is it ask what is cypress now asking us to do basically it is asking us that whether you want to get the predefined uh, test files basically cypress has developed some okay if you want to take that as an example so you can click on the scaffold example specs or if you want to create new basically you have your application and you have your test cases so you want to create new then you can take this one let me just uh, use this one so these are the test cases which uh, uh, cypress has already developed for us so okay got it and now all of these other spec files okay all of these other test cases which are present inside this uh, directories like cypress then end to end okay so let me click on this to do so you see the execution for the test cases have been started it is actually navigating to some url and then it is going to perform all other operations okay so we'll see with the our, our only let me just close it close it and we are done okay so we're done with the opening we'll see if we saw the overview like what is the screen and this is done okay in the next session we will actually go through with all the project structure the folder directories and everything like what exactly this e2a means what exactly this fixtures means support means okay so in this next section we will check that so that's all for this session thank you for your time have a very good day